In the past few months, this game has done a total backflip and gone from not having enough energy to complete the events to have an abundance of energy that pretty much every day I struggle to use all the energy that's been gifted to me. Like I just claimed all of mine from the Valhalla Pass all the way up to level 120. I hadn't even claimed past level 81. I just got 3000 extra energy dumped into my stamina pot right there. So what do you do with all of this energy? There's different times of the month where you're going to be focusing on different parts so that you're maximizing the most rewards that you're getting out of this energy. In the middle of the month, when we are having this war festivities or whatever it's going to be called at that time of the month when it comes back around, you are definitely going to be focusing on the maze. 100% doing all maze until you cap this out at 200 per day. This means you should do between 700 and 1000 energy in the maze. You can do it in campaign if you want, if you're up to chaos, it's going to take about the same amount of energy, maybe a bit less in the maze because your final run, you can get three of these resources per run, which is a little bit better stamina wise to resources. But the biggest benefit about doing the maze, it is 100 times quicker than doing campaign. Campaign takes ages to do a run, especially when you're going to do the chaos. It takes so much longer, whereas you come in here, do a maze, maze of gold. If you can do stage 20, even 19, 18, or 17, you have a chance of getting three per run. And when we do a battle here, you'll see it is so much quicker than a campaign. You should know this already anyway. When there is an event on in the middle of the month, you need to be in the maze and just literally running that consistently, 700 to 1,000 energy per day, and you will cap that out every day. You will get the 200 resource. Look at that, that was 32 seconds to run that. And my team, like, I haven't min-maxed this team at all. Like, you, there'll be people there watching me that have better teams than me that are running this even faster. So after completing that event, you have a look at the resources that you have afterwards. It is absolutely absurd. We come down here. So I've got 20 million gold, which is enough to do pretty much whatever I want for a while. So we'll just have a look at the common ones because that's what you get the most of. Obviously, you fuse them to get it to level them up even further. But I've got 8,000 of this low one. I don't need any of those anymore. So that will be transferred into 3,000 of the green one and so on and so forth. It will go up 4,600 books. That will go up as well. And the ore is at 3,300. I did this one and the books a lot less than the others because this is the resource that I want. And then 20 million gold, as I said, I did gold the most because all of these to craft together, use and so on and so forth, you need gold. So I would run gold the maximum amount. So the way that I would probably weight it would be 50 to 60% of your runs will be in gold. And then the other 40% will be like 10%, 20 percent for these upgrades if you are upgrading your Pandora's box. If you want to level your characters and you do 20% on the books and the other 10% in the other two, the ore is probably the least unless you are at the point where you are crafting a lot of gear, then you'll be doing the ore. So that's the middle part of the month where we have that event. Outside of that event, where should you be using all of your energy? Well, this is where you come into campaign. This is where you start leveling up all of your other heroes. So I've been doing this pretty consistently outside of this event. Doesn't take very long either. Just find the highest level you can do, which you can do with one hero. The best hero is probably Duke of Darkness. I think Death Knight also does this very well. There's probably others, the mythic ones that I haven't even looked at yet. Mythic champions that will just run through this. But Duke of Darkness with a good god on him, he will run through this pretty much easily anyway. But because we've just got to this next level of ascension, I've got my orc in here, I've got power fists and... Seriously, this runs through this super easy anyway. So another quick little tip. If I'm going to be in here and I say I'm leveling up four little pieces of fodder like this, give them a god. Just give them a god. Doesn't matter what god it is. Doesn't matter what it is. Obviously, the people at the front line, you may as well give them gods that will help them stay alive. They should probably be swapped, but whatever. But give your frontline people, gods, even the other back to gods, like healing ones, something like that. So if it does come to the point where they need to heal or get off their god, they can do it. But more to the point, they have more HP and more defense, so they will stay alive longer being targets for the enemy so your DPS can get the job done. So this is a huge, huge thing that you need to do within this game because if you are leveling up all of these other common 
and crappy champions, you will get these levels higher and higher. As you can see, I'm getting a 34.5% extra buff in attack, defense, and HP. And you do this transcendence. This is all added in together. That's why you transcend them as well. So there is reason to level up these other heroes. You may have to put your fusing on hold for a little bit just because you're going to be using a lot of these commons and uncommons on rares as you go up. You need to transcend them and use them on these other heroes to level them up. This benefit you're getting from this glory to the legion is absolutely enormous. 34% in defense. Defense is so hard to come by in this game and the extra 34%, mwah, I would take that any day of the week. So that is campaign. You will not run campaign really whilst this event is on unless you want to progress further in the campaign. I wouldn't really waste my energy in campaign whilst the event is on. So once you have hit your cap during the event or you kind of got over campaign and you want to run the, something a little bit quicker to get rid of your energy even faster, this is when I need to go and do Hall of the Gods. There was a stage where I think a lot of people would have got most of their gods maxed out because you got to the five star. They were level 60, all done and dusted. Now that you can go up to level 80 or whatever it is, you're going to have to get back into this gods a lot more. So when I want to run through my energy really fast and I've capped out my event, I've got a lot of resources that I want, that is when I come into the gods or I just can't be bothered to run campaign or I don't have time to run campaign because campaign takes so long because you use so little energy when running through it. This is when I come into the Hall of the Gods and I just do the highest one I possibly can. I can clear them all at the moment. I have so many of these sunstones. Surely there's something you can do with them other than enhancing your gods, but I haven't looked into that too far yet. You will end up with lots of them, but you need so many of those pots. And the earrings, the necklaces, and rings are really, really sought after. They're some of the best parts of gear that you can put onto your heroes. So you're going to be wanting to craft a lot of those eventually anyway. These accessories, obviously I need a lot more ore. I need to like craft them up so I can do it. But you want to be crafting a lot of these legendary rings, earrings, and necklaces. Because once you get one of the enhanced ones, I can't remember what they're called. One of these like extra ones that have the extra skill, like... This right here, increasing the hero's skill level by four. His skill is at level nine right now. Nine. The ultimate charge increased by 10% for every crit. Like, he is critting consistently. He is getting his ultimate off so quickly. It is not funny. So these are the pieces you're going to be looking for. And this is why you need to go and do Hall of the Gods pretty consistently all month round. Because you do always need pots to level up your gods. You need the materials to craft those accessories but then make sure you're running the event during the event and then outside the event you run campaign that's kind of how i divvy up my energy right now i've got 3000 energy sitting there right now i'm going to run a fair bit of campaign right now in the background while i'm editing a video and doing whatever and then once i get over it or i'm going to run it overnight then i'll jump into my challenge and do more hall of the gods but that is how i use energy hopefully that helps you in the future and i'll see you in a video soon